Hey what's up, it's Marquisador here, and this is going to be a quick little vid for a melee training spot that I found. It's like nothing special, but um, most people probably know about it. It's just fire giants in the waterfall um, dungeon, I guess. Um, they're weak to slash, and so if you use the Ceridome and God Sword, it gives you that heal every like fourth attack or whatever, 25%. Anyway, use that with a bunyip. And you just roll up in here, pot up, whatever you want to use, and then they they get aggro on you, put on auto retaliate, and you can get up momentum, get some decent XP's. Um, there's another dude here right now, so it's obviously not as good XP as it could be, um, but if you have 35 Dungeoneering, you can just hop in this fancy door here. And then there's a spot over here I like to use. That seems to be pretty much abandoned all the time, and they are again um, aggressive in here for about 10 minutes. And if you just uh, hop out of the door or run away from the ways, they'll become aggressive again. So you can just chill here, get your momentum up, or just auto attack them if you want, and they get pretty decent experience. Um, I've seen people doing Hellhounds with Derox for the same idea. You can do Derox here too. What I noticed is these actually give more experience, have about 50 more life points, so they don't take much longer to kill at all, and they hit you less often, so you have a less likely chance of dying. And if you're not using Darox like me, and you just want to camp here like AFK, um, then you can just, if you have an SGS and a Bunya, you pretty much never have to eat with, and if you're just chilling with momentum. So, yeah, I was just doing this for a while. I don't really know the exact XP rate because I didn't test it or anything, but it's definitely good. You're getting about 796 XP total between HP and the other skill you choose, so if you're not splitting it between three. And, <clears throat> um, I think it's about 600 in the skill, like 597, I think, if I, I did it right. That should be about it. Um, so. Like, I'm not even potted right now, I'm like 90s in all my melee stats, and they're going down pretty hard. Um, I mean, if you pot up, it's a lot faster. So yeah, um, I mean, it's kind of just an alternative to Hellhounds, so they're both good places to train in AFK, but I found these to be pretty much the same, if not a little bit better, and definitely less, uh, you like take way less damage, so it's way easier to AFK. Um, and they also drop charms, not not quite as frequently as uh, Hellhounds, I mean close to the same, but you get uh, Rune Arrows, Rune Scimitars, and some other random drops that are worth a small amount of money. Um, Fire Runes, 150 at a time, is actually pretty profitable now with the, uh, the update to Mage Spells, so yeah. Um, yeah, I hope this was somewhat useful. Um, I've definitely been AFKing here just a little bit to get my defense up a bit, trying to get my skills even so I can like do the controlled crap and level them together. But um, yeah, it's 35 dungeoneering to get in here. You don't even need to if you don't want to, but it's definitely definitely a good AFK spot. So hope this helped and Marquisador out.